The woman just got up, only to discover to her horror, the grass outside her house had turned into a forest overnight. She was in a strange place, although she had just moved in yesterday, but she remembered that there was a meadow outside her house. She asked her husband what was going on, but he looked confused. He said he hadn't noticed any change in the surroundings. The woman fainted instantly. When she woke up, her husband reassured her. It must have been a nervous hallucination. Lena couldn't believe it and immediately ran out of the house, only to find that the outside of the house had changed again, this time on a hillside by a river. The shock of the moment made her dizzy. She rolled straight down the slope into the river. Fortunately, her husband was able to retrieve her in time. She was able to save her life. But Lena was so frightened that she never left the house again for the rest of the day. She thought her husband was telling her she was hallucinating. After all, she had just lost her parents in a car accident two months earlier. She had been diagnosed with PTSD. So she planned to sleep well today. I'll check again the next morning after I've eaten and drunk. Before she left home this time, she asked her husband if it was the same outside as yesterday. He looked at it and confirmed it. But when Lena got up the courage to go out and found that it was different again and back to where she started. And in the face of this huge difference, her husband still said that nothing had changed outside. Lena was frightened as to why only she could see it, but not her husband. She rushed into the nearby woods to find out, but she didn't get very far before her head spun. That's when she saw a hanging rope hanging from a tree. Her hair stood on end and she fainted. When she woke up, she was rescued by her husband and returned home. Her husband was so worried that he suspected her mental illness was getting worse. He took her back to the hospital in the city for a medical examination. But after two days of examination, no other illnesses were found. He took her back to the cottage to recuperate. When she woke up the next day, the first thing Lena does is run out of the house. But once again, she was desperate, for the grass outside her door had turned into a bared gutter. But this time she forced herself to calm down, pulled out her phone, which she hadn't used in a month. She took pictures all around the house to preserve the evidence. Then she showed it to her husband. But her husband was calm. He said he had to drive out to buy some food. Lena was left alone. She took the opportunity to call her psychiatrist friend, to tell him about the strange events. Lena told the psychiatrist about her strange experience. They thought it was a normal complication of the trauma. And after Lena admitted to not taking her medication regularly, he was even more certain. I told your husband that he wanted to keep you in hospital, but he wouldn't listen and insisted on taking you out of the hospital early. He told her to take her medication regularly and then hung up. Lena thought that he was the best student of the dean's father. He should be trustworthy. So she tried taking the medication for the first time. Soon her husband came back. But as soon as he returned, he called secretly behind Lena's back. When Lena asked about the other end of the phone, her husband told her that the nurse was helping her to consult about her recovery, thinking that her husband loved her. But the moment she turned back to pour water, she suddenly remembered. Every time she drank water, her husband poured it for her first. Is there something wrong with this water? And he only drank from the blue bottle. She immediately went back to the house and took out all the water to check. She swapped the red and blue caps with each other. But just as she reached the last pair, her husband suddenly tried to enter the house. She dropped the caps to the floor in fear. She was about to be discovered. But she kept the caps on to prevent her husband from suspecting her and complained that she was dizzy and had low blood sugar. So her husband hurriedly started the meal. He inadvertently drank the water that Lena was supposed to drink. Soon he felt short of breath and dizzy and immediately went to take a shower, saying he needed to clear his head. And when he then went to pee in the woods, she immediately rushed out of the house, grabbed an axe to see what secrets lay beneath the house. The house weighs a ton and yet it goes to a new place every day. When she struggled to get it up, what lies beneath the board surprises her. But she didn't make a fuss. Instead, she immediately went back inside and poured out half the water. Pretending to drink it, she lay down on the bed and pretended to sleep. And when her husband returned to the house and tried repeatedly, Lena was asleep. He suddenly began to act in mysterious ways, putting all the bottles and jars in the house into a box. At this point Lena stopped pretending. Danger. Gritting her teeth, she knocked him out with a hammer. She ran out of the house in a panic. Only then did she realize that there were wheels underneath the house. They were usually hidden by wooden boards. The husband had just linked the car to the house. He was about to move it after she fell asleep. But Lena was too weak. She couldn't get it apart. So she drove the house with her. At that moment, her unconscious husband woke up. In a flash, he realized that he had been discovered. He jumped out of the car and grabbed her out. But Lena took the opportunity to run away. Into the darkness of the forest. He calls out to the lamb in a hunter's gesture, and reveals that he had originally distributed the hypnotic pills in advance to Lena's favorite red bottle cap, causing Lena to drink it and fall asleep to death. He then took advantage of this time to sneakily move the house, and hanged her with a rope in the woods to drive her crazy, so that he could inherit her millions. Even the car accident she had, he deliberately broke the brakes. He wanted to kill all three of his wife's family together, but she survived. Who gave you a rich father? On the other hand, a terrified Lena was still running for her life. I don't know how long she had been running. She found a passing car at a junction. She jumped on it without looking carefully. After calming down, she found out that the female driver was her nurse when she was in hospital. The nurse opened up to her. She said she was her husband's accomplice. Lena never thought her husband would be so cruel. No wonder the nurse was always giving her pills. Then the nurse took out the spray and tried to hold her in place. But Lena was so desperate to survive. 
She grabbed it and sprayed the woman's face before jumping out of the car. The woman was so hot she couldn't see the road. She drove past her. She hit Lena's husband by mistake. Then she fell into the river at the bottom of the hill. Lena stood there for a long time before she picked up her mobile phone and called the police. But both of them died of their injuries. They died in time for treatment. And she was hospitalized again to finish the unfinished business. She was fortunate to have her father's favorite pupil. As a friend, she was there for her. In the past, doctors had pursued her. But she chose her husband instead. Now it seemed like a complete mistake. With the help of the doctors she was finally discharged shortly afterwards. She inherited her father's money and became a rich woman. That's when the doctor called in to invite her to dinner. Lena thought she would be repulsed. But then she realized what she wanted. Despite the pain she had suffered. But it's good to know. The one person who has always been true to her is close by. She believes she's chosen the right man this time.